Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Johor Bahru Johor, and I'm with my wife here. Going fishing again. We have two rods. One over here. It's a float over there. Oh, the wind is blowing so strong, quite strong. So we have a float over there with a tin mini hook, so that you can hook any fish and. I mean, I put on the line below the water about uh, less than a meter away, long. And this one, the reason I'm making this video today is to show you we found a new method of fishing right here in Putri Habar, Johor, Nusa Jaya. I mean, okay, I'll reel it in so that I can show you guys what I'm meant to share to you guys right this is how we do it it's called the fishing bomb net <laughs> i saw a lot of videos on youtube and this spring here is supposed to hold baits for fresh water like lakes like in the lakes and rivers but this in fact is not a river but it's close to the uh, the opening of the sea so it's some sort like a cove yeah <clears throat> and you can see boats over there luxurious boats over there so uh, last week I found out that some fishing enthusiasts hobbies they came here and I wonder what were they using to fish and I saw that they use nets like this so I went to Shopee and bought a couple for me well, we lost one already just now because it got stuck in the weed and we pull it out and it cuts the line off. So, we're left with just one and for the bait, we use sardines, sardines head like so. Right, so what we do is we just put a very small weight on the line and then we just cast it like so. And hope that hoping that some fish or even something else will get stuck in the net for us to bring back home now talking about bringing back home we do have a couple of creatures that we caught just now using this net and ta -da! these are what we caught just now we caught a couple of rockfish. I mean rockfish. I mean rock crabs. See? Rock crabs. It has been fainted already because I put it on ice. So that is what we got from fishing with the bomb net. A couple of them, both of it in the same net at the same time. So if I if we can get these two at the same time. I believe that there are many more under the water down there. So, patience is patience is golden. So, we have to be patient and see what else we can get. So, for the meantime, we are going to chill and enjoy this windy condition. Uh, the sun is starting to rise and we are perched underneath this big tree looks like a forest gum tree and hope that the birds or the crows won't be naughty and shit on us right because we need it for shade my wife has a big head so she's not worried she's even she's even got a got a glove there so it's time for me to reel in and see what i can get from my hook that is tie down to the float. Let's see. Yeah. Nothing yet. Okay, so since I've already reeled in my hook and my float, why not I just show you how I rig this thing so
There's the spinner there. This is the pin and that's the hook. And I'm using this float because it has a weight on it. So when I cast it, it will go farther away from the shore. Okay, let's give it another throw. I mean another cast. Yeah, there we go. Give it a little jerk so that the hook and the float will not tangle themselves together and the configuration of the lines that I plan will not work. Okay, so I'm gonna wait. I saw a few fishes down there right close to the shore just now I mean my wife even saw some uh, one seahorse which is quite unique because we haven't seen them in, in 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 nature we've seen them in aquariums and zoos but not in the wild so we got lucky just now but my camera wasn't out so I can't show you guys all right let's see wait and see let's reel in our net and see whether we got lucky this time something is stuck in our net what is it What is that? Oops! It fell back down there. Something that looks funny just stuck, got stuck into our net. But I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Before I got the chance to look at it, it fell down back into the shore. Uh, okay, it, it's a good sign. I mean, let's cast it in, put it back in there. Ah, man, it happened again. The other net that we were using just now got stuck, probably on a rock or a sea. Uh, most probably we're going to lose this one too so there's no choice but to use this method right so wrap it around the handle of your fishing rod like so as tight as you can just wrap it until the uh, string wraps around the handle of your rod tightly and then you just pull yeah so it got loose but let's see whether we are lucky enough that we can save our net oh yeah oh we are safe our net yes our net got released See, that's our net. Haha, saved. Okay, so as I was reeling in just now, as I was reeling in just now, I saw a big fish about seven centimeters chasing it. So I guess we just put it right there. Probably this is where. We can get some action of the fish eating it. Maybe this is where the fish wishes me to put the net in. See? I'm not sure whether the camera will catch what I'm seeing just now, but I saw little fishes surrounding the nets with the bait. 
probably more fishes are crowding the area near to the shore rather than being right in the middle of the straits here the channel okay let's see just leave it in like so the tide has risen so we shifted into a new position here and casted my net and let's see whether we can reel in any results can you hear that that is the sound of machine guns training hear that that is the army training live firing let's cast our net again Which army is that? Is that Malaysian army or the Singapore armed forces having their live firing training or practice? Seems to be going quiet now. Let's just hope that there's no bullets coming our way. Jaga ja, nanti kena orang. Selesa dah. Okay. Kau sih. Ya okay, it's okay. Lizard, big lizard. Yeah, yeah. Just went into the hole. Hey, keep. Hey, people. I've just reeled in my. Uh... Oh my God! Just released. I've just reeled in my net. Hello. Hello, I'm busy. This is a big crab, man. Uh, not sure whether the camera got that bad, dude. But it was like that big, man. The crab, flower crab, just almost reaches the surface of the water, but it got escaped. It escaped from the net. Uh, let's try again, okay? This is a good sign that the tide is bringing in all the crabs. The time has come. It's time to be patient. All we need to do is be patient. Well guys, as I've told you before, we brought two of the bomb nets. But then we lost the first one. And then now we've lost the second one. So we have to say goodbye to our nets. So that's the back side, the back side of uh, using the bomb nets. Is that they got tangled in reefs, rocks, and uh, even weeds. And that's it. I mean, if we lost the nets, there's no way of we getting back the nets from the under the water there, right? So that's the back side of it. The good side of it is you can get crabs. But actually, uh, I can't blame the design of the nets. Actually, they are uh, specialized in fishing or netting in lakes and rivers. But if you are talking about uh, sea, the ocean salt water, it's not going to work because the bait, you know, they for salt water we use fish meat, prawns, right? Uh, but for net, uh, for for so I mean lakes and rivers. We use those uh, specialized fish powder where we mix them with water and they become like a dough <clears throat> and then we stick it on the, on the uh, spring part of the bomb net and then it will work uh, to attract the fish, the fishes into the net. So that's it. I mean now it's about uh, another 10 minutes to 1 o'clock in the afternoon and there is no sign of fishes in here in in this part of the uh, dock so i guess we have to say goodbye 
for the fishing day then. And uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, uh, I would like to say thanks to you for joining me. And uh, take care. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao.